Hello everyone, this is John Fawcett, Morning Coordination Meteorologist for the National Weather Service Office serving southern New Mexico and far west Texas, and that is the area that could have some severe weather this afternoon. Today is May 21st, 2015. The potential impacts would be minor to possibly moderate hail damage, especially windblown hail perhaps quarter size in some of the stronger storms and that would be east of the continental divide this late this afternoon and evening localized wind damage in the same area during the same time frame late this afternoon and evening and then finally a minor flooding could be even greater flooding except these storms should be moving rapidly and that chance is greatest along and east of the Rio Grande, especially later into this evening you go. Here is the scenario. It is a classic borderland severe weather pattern. We haven't seen too many over the last few years during the spring, but here we are. And you have a backdoor front that moved in overnight further west than we earlier expected. And uh, the east push has brought moisture all the way back to uh, the continental divide. Meanwhile, an upper wave coming in from the southwest will make the atmosphere more unstable with time and give us wind shear. So by the time we get to 6 p.m., we've got the first upper impulse over the front, even though the front is starting to back off to the east a little bit, still plenty of moist east push over much of the area for thunderstorms possibly severe. You've got the wind shear, you've got the low level moisture, and the instability. The three ingredients we look for when you're talking about strong and possibly severe thunderstorms. Moving into midnight, the moist air is retreating off to the east as drier air pushes in from the west. You still have a chance for thunderstorms with locally heavy rain in the eastern portion, especially the farther east you go, Hudspeth County, eastern Otero County, but it should be backing off with time. Uncertainties, well, how much instability? We, this morning we had a lot of low-level clouds that delayed the warming, so how much warming we're going to get this afternoon will determine how unstable we get, which in turn uh, determines or will lead to the severe threat. And the timing of the front's retreat along with the dry air coming in from the west, that is also an uncertainty, but we think that uh, the front will be around long enough for thunderstorms possibly severe. And then there's the large hail threat. When you look at the atmospheric profile, uh, lots of things are in place for that, but we would like to see it a little more unstable for uh, quarter size or larger hail, and yet the potential is there. The further east you go, the better the potential. Finally, the flooding threat. We think these thunderstorms are going to be moving rapidly, so you get pretty heavy rains, but for not a long period of time. So you get your street flooding, uh, whether it turns into true flash flooding or not uh, remains a question. The chance of that is better the further east you go. So in effect, nothing as of noon. This briefing is being uh, recorded about 12.30 p.m. Uh, but we anticipate issuing severe thunderstorm warnings flood advisories for minor flooding, and then possibly flash flood warnings the further east you go, but less of a chance for that particular warning. So, summarizing the impacts, uh, minor hail damage is possible in some isolated locations, possibly even moderate hail damage. Uh, localized wind damage from strong damaging downburst out of these thunderstorms and for both of those it's mainly east of the divide this afternoon and evening and then as you get towards the evening hours you get an increased threat of minor flooding along and east of the Rio Grande with that slight chance of flash flooding so please monitor the latest warning statements and forecasts 
as uh, this particular scenario uh, can change. Now, emergency managers and media, please use our NWS chat room and then everybody else uh, monitor our Facebook and especially our Twitter. Uh, our handle is in, at NWS El Paso and then our YouTube channel is probably how you're watching this video. Finally, our webpage, lots of great resources there. Thank you for your time and as always, stay safe.